Hello Magical Box Lovers and welcome back to my channel. My name's Helen, I am 45 years old and I live here in Blue Sky Sunny Derbyshire. Yay! So today you're here to see August's Witch Casket. Yay! <laughs> so as usual the outer packaging looks like this. It is black with scent love from the uk and it is 100 percent biodegradable the packaging and on it it doesn't say anything uh, which casket which are related i've just blanked out my address there uh, i don't know what the qr code says but the return address says to return uh, to the matrix it doesn't say return to which casket so yeah very discreet it just says fragile on there so yeah 100% discreet. Okay, so August's witch casket. Let's open this one together. Here we go. So as usual, I have just quickly opened the box just to take out the little noodle doodles. And um, those are just dissolved in the sink full of warm water. Get rid of those because then they dissolve away. Okay, so as usual, that's the contact details there I'll just uh, let you see those for a moment you can just type in uh, which casket and you will find them uh, on all of those platforms because obviously they don't just do a subscription box they do have a shop as well that you can buy from there we go so let's have a look together so I will get things out and then we'll uh, look at things in more detail together okay this month, I must admit, I was very excited to get and when I had a quick look, I was very, very excited, very, very excited. A couple of things I have been naughty and I will tell you which ones I've been naughty and I've actually looked at because this is a good box. Wow. <laughs> These are the noodle doodles that I refer to. Just warm water gets rid of them quicker than cold water, not red hot water. So they would dissolve a lot quicker, but warmish water and they just dissolve away to absolutely nothing. As you can see with the heat in my hand, they're going. So this month's theme is travel. And how cute is the logo for this week? I love the little bat. It, it, I just thought very art deco-y, you know, it does look like Orient Express travel old-fashioned theme you know absolutely loved it so that is such a cute little bat i love that little bat it's so cute so that is the information booklet that i will refer to if i need to i will try not to okay so we've got a baggie and our, the art print so i'm just getting things out Oops. so there's something inside that so I'm loving that they've kept with the theme uh, of, you know, the uh, the print. That I've just undone. I haven't read what the scroll is because I like to pick it off gently so I can keep the little seal. Because each month I have a different sticker to go with the theme of the month. So I always like to keep that stuck on there. I know I'm weird, but I do these things. If they've taken the time and effort to to do that then I take the time and effort to pick it off so I can keep it. If you notice that I am a bit more breathless than usual uh, it's because I have been hospitalised uh, recently. Uh, I actually have had what's called a PE, a pulmonary embolism which is a blood clot in my lung. So if you notice I'm a bit out of breath, can't get my words out, things like that that is because I'm in recovery from that. So yeah, I am okay, I'm absolutely fine. I've got the right medications. My husband's been looking after me. Um, and yeah, so I'm fine, I'm okay. Um, luckily I was at work, as you know, I work at a hospital. Um, so I was at the right place at the right time when it was brought on that I was ill. Um, so yeah, I got treated very, very quickly. So I got sorted out. So thank you work for looking after me. Uh, yeah <laughs> so yeah so if you notice like I say I'm a bit more breathless plus I'm trying to get all my boxes filmed in one go because I'm having a day where 
I'm feeling pretty good today. Um, I've had days obviously where I'm not feeling very well um, and today I feel quite good and quite energetic so you will notice that I'm wearing the same t-shirt for all of my videos this month but that's because I'm having a day of just filming um, because I feel pretty good today so I'm going to get all my videos done and then I can re release them as and when um, just space them out a little bit um, so that's why there we go <laughs> So anyway, back back to what we're doing. I just wanted to like let you know, just in case you think, why is she out of breath and nothing and puffing? Have I done a marathon? No. So we've got something in there. I saw the the badge of the month. I thought how cute. I just thought Harry Potter straight away. In fact, I, the theme. I thought Harry Potter when I saw it. Lovely little baggy. I love these baggies. They're so soft as well. You know, the canvas baggies, but they feel really soft. Notepad, pack, I think. I haven't opened that, so I don't know if it's just plain or marked. This I haven't opened, obviously. Anything sealed, I haven't opened. I haven't opened this. I think I know what this is. This is what I opened. I will save that till last. And that is it. Right, so this, I believe, yes it is, uh, everybody this month has got a selenite obelisk. And it is their free gift to all subscribers, new and old, which I thought was good. Because I hate it when, see, I'm out of puff now, uh, when you get things just for being a new subscriber, because it's like, hello. I've been here for years. Hello, Ooh, remember me? You know, you, you get that feeling like I've, I've been here for a long time and if you've got forgotten me. So it's lovely that they remember, they welcome the new, but they also remember the old. So lovely velvet pouch and wow. These you can actually buy on their website and I have actually, I bought one of these a while ago. Because um, what I use it for, you know, I, I like to wear my beads. I'll show you what I do. I think I've shown you this before. I will charge them on my sel selenite. Um, not so much that one, but you know, like if you've got one that's really stretchy, an older one, you can double them up on there, and that's how I charge them up. And I'll pop it in my scrying bowl. Um, yeah, and I've got lots of pieces of selenite as well in my scrying bowl as well, so that's how. I charge my jewellery. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I've got another one now, so which I'm utterly grateful for because I use selenite an awful lot and I like to use it for um, charging my tarot cards. Because uh, I used to use just like clear quartz and I found since using selenite especially, I've got a lot better results. Um, and it was just something I just felt like doing. I just like felt drawn to doing, and I just I just love the the feel, the calmness, the the energy. It just feels so nice, and it just feel I don't know. It feels like coming home. It's that kind of energy. It just feels so nice and chill, laid back. That's the kind of energy I feel feel from it. And it's one of my friends, my crystal friends. I know people call them allies and things like that. I call them my friends. It's like um, Amethyst is my bestie. <laughs> Amethyst is my best friend. I always love Amethyst and anything purple. Uh, I think from loving purple that branched off to Amethyst. And um, so obviously I've got, that, that's obviously it's a fake one. It's a 3 99 it weren't a real one, you know, but um, I just loved it, you know, and it's just, just a cheap cheap thing but like, how cute's that um but yeah and uh, obviously my expandable ones and i mean that could be a real one i don't know but i'm i'm guessing for the price it wasn't uh, i've got a new new bracelet as well from uh, zox my uh, ouroboros is finally <laughs> i've laid it to rest she's uh, on my hecate uh, altar with my prayer beads because uh, Ouroboros is obviously one of her signs as well so I've got this um, selenophile <laughs> for the moon 
So each one of these is there's a number, so mine's three hundred and three thousand one hundred and sixty-six. So you have a number, so yeah, it's Zox. So yeah. Selenophile. So I thought it was perfect. And it comes with a little card and I forget what it says, something about the moon. I'm a worshipper of the moon or something like that and that's on, on my altar. I thought it was just appropriate that um, because I've got like a little a moon goddess, little tiny statue with a moonstone with a moon engraving. I think it was from, yeah it was from Witch Casket. A moonstone with a moon engraving and she's holding that so I thought it was perfect so that's my new one so yeah Zox uh, they, they don't, they're not expensive uh, I think it's only like £10 something like that um, the, once they've sold out that's it you don't get the same design again um, so they're like limited editions so like I can't get my Ouroboros back um, so that's why I've, I've laid it to rest before she, she gave up, I've had her about five years or more and I loved it to bits but it started to go a little bit baggy um, so yeah, so she's on my altar <laughs> how do you start talking about that? Uh, bracelets, that's it, ah, anyway right, back to what we're doing <laughs> anyway, right, so we'll go on to the pink so, oh, I didn't say what it was about this one so, I did not travel magic so it's travel magic. Let me show you that properly. So here we've got the cute little bat. We've got a looks like a lollipop, doesn't it? That way around. Candle. Crystal. Uh, a herb. Um, tomato sauce bottle. <laughs> Potion bottle. So I thought that was very um, you know nineteen fifties. You know. I can see the choo-choo train and that. Beautiful. Well, I'll show you that. That's what people have sent in. Little pictures. I thought, how beautiful. So, yeah, this is the information leaflet. So, obviously, I will refer to this if I need to, uh, but I will try not to. So, I'll show you the enamel, an enamel pin. So, that's obviously a broomstick. I love that this month. Love it. And, again, you've got the pentacle on the back. So you can always use that for something if you want to. Love that. And what have we got here? So this looks like a pendulum. So have we got a pendulum? We have a rosewood pendulum. I've just done a uh, witch box. I've just recorded that. And that was a make your own pendulum. Oh, I don't own mine or amethyst. And I've got like um, a chakra mixed one, but mine are all mainly amethyst or rose quartz because they're my crystals, my friends. But I don't own a wooden one. Unusual. Oh, I do like the um, the chain it's on. That feels really nice. And of course, you've got the little spindle. So yeah. So you know a pendulum work so obviously you, you devise it yourself you could go that way for yes or no it's up to, it's up to you but you, you know you introduce yourself to your spirit and you say that means yes and, and that means no somewhat simple keep it simple keep it simple you can get a pendulum board if you're wanting to like make names and things like that you know if you're really wanting to get more in depth into it but when you're just learning but I've never come across a wooden one I've never even tried a wooden one that's interesting I'd definitely give this a go I, what does it say about it so I hope obviously hold the pendulum by the chain on I said well, that's a question so yeah I'm wondering how to charge it I mean obviously I would charge it like in a full moon I always charge like my tarot cards under a full moon especially the ones that are my working cards my cards uh, they're just you know the ordinary right away smith ones you know the bright yellow ones uh, but yeah uh, so magical divination tool with 
helpful instructions lovely made from rosewood which is believed to enhance intuition and aid divination so it tells you how to work it but it doesn't tell you how to like charge it keep it that'd be interesting that to learn more about wooden ones because obviously you know i'm you know about the crystals that you work with and the energies and you know what you're wanting to get from them when you're doing like um, you know your readings and such so that would be interesting to work with that I'd definitely pop it on my altar for a bit to charge and yeah I'd obviously cleanse it first I would cleanse it like any magical anything that I get here I always cleanse with incense first I any incense I don't use any particular scents for cleansing or anything I'm, I'm not like that I always just heavily smoke cleanse things um, but yeah interesting to work with that so I'd cleanse it and then I perhaps just see how I got on and then I would try charging it perhaps with just pop it in with just a uh, ordinary quartz crystal I'd just try it I'd love to know down below if anybody has worked with wooden pendulums because I've never worked with a wooden pendulum before it's always been like a crystal one or it's, it's always been either like a necklace or something it's never been wooden so that is interesting yeah I really I want to yeah definitely give that a go so right put that to one side so I've got a baggie what's in my baggie again that's what I say it's so soft I love these little baggies sweets no <laughs> my idea of sweeties crystals so we have yes crystal essentials so got a few by the looks of it yeah we have a rose quartz we have a black stone what, what are you uh, black agate and we have a bloodstone and a green aventurine very lovely those I do struggle you know with the, the black stones knowing which is which of each you know your tourmaline your obsidian and obviously the snowflake obsidian I'm spot on with that but I do struggle with those I am getting a bit better now learning because I as you know I, I I know like the very basic ones but it's learning that there's so many different crystals out there and with with these wonderful boxes I'm learning so much and that's what I love about them I'm learning so many many things it's amazing and that's why I like such a diverse range of boxes like what I've got they're beautiful I mean rose quartz I absolutely adore rose quartz I just love it always to me always I, I always get a smell of, of roses whenever I, I mention rose quartz so it ultimately I just get a, you know how rose, roses smell I just get smell of rose quartz I get that beautiful smell in my I know that sounds so weird but I always get that in my mind and yeah it's quite flat actually and it's, so you could sit that quite nicely so that'd be nice to work in a crystal grid that one because it is got a flat it's got a flat bump I don't know if you can see that very well. So it's got a flat bump. I don't know if they're meant to have a flat bump for a reason. So rose quartz, love, peace, compassion, green adventuring, success, motivation, balance, black agate, banishing, cleansing, protection, uh, bloodstone, energy, confidence and courage. So yeah, the green adventuring. That's a nice one. So that goes with my, my bracelet, yeah. And the bloodstone, I do like bloodstone. I don't know if I can see it here. The flex in there, and then the black agate. I don't actually think I've got black agate. I've got like your tourmaline, I've got quite a lot of. I've got a lot of Whitby Jet because I love Whitby. Uh, if you look through my videos, there is actually, yeah, I did a, a video of. Um, the Dracula experience it's one of my best videos it was just on a whim actually my husband just said oh I had on your video the Dracula experience when when we were going and I did and it's like one of my hits <laughs> so yeah Dracula experience watch it 
so yeah love that they will be getting cleansed and charged put that to one side uh, next I'll go for the scroll so like I say I've opened it but I haven't read it because like I said they go to the trouble each month of providing a different one so it sort of talks about travel magic and uh, some there's no doubt that travel is a time of stress and high anxiety so we should work whatever magic we can do to make our trip one safely, so safely and smoothly so so there's simple crystals, botanicals and um, essential oils to take with you uh, for your travel. So I don't know if you can see it. There we go. So that's the talismans and such. So I'll just say what crystals to take with you for travel. It should take you amethyst, black tourmaline, hematite, labradorite, malachite, uh, your talismans, your keys, bells, nails, runes, hagstones, botanicals, ash leaves, bladder wax, comfrey, fufu, mint. I would add rosemary to botanicals. I would always take rosemary with me because it's the one for all. Um, it's highly protective as well, so I would also add rosemary to that list. Big rosemary. Rosemary, rosemary and black salt really, that's all you need to take with you to be honest. Um, and any crystals that you really, really love, uh, or have a crystal round your neck, so she wasn't. Um, these are my Baba Yaga earrings and necklace. I have mentioned it in my other couple of videos, but I will uh, mention it in the description box of the person that created these. Absolutely amazing set. You can buy them as the set or individually, not just one earring, you know, <laughs> a set of earrings or the necklace. Um, it's on Etsy and they weren't all that expensive. Um, so uh, I'll pop that in the description box and I've got my Baba Yaga t-shirt on the hermit from Amazon it's the tarot card schoolish garb tarot card t-shirt so getting that puff right so next we have the little notepad so I think it goes yeah it goes that way around so it's got the logo of the month again he's so cute oh how sweet how sweet is that so that is, I do like that, that symbol in those colours, very earthy, oh sorry, I don't know why it just went really dark then, when I do that, see how dark it goes when I do that, mind you it's focusing in, yes Helen stop being weird, <laughs> oh so it opens up like that, ah the post-it note, are the post-it notes, I'm just going to take one off, yes the sticky notes, that's good. I thought it was just like notes, but I think, yeah, the sticky notes. Ah, cool. I likey, likey. I'll pop that back on so then I'm not wasting it. Just bear with me. You know what I'm like. Oh, I love that idea. Thank you very much. I love that. So cute. I do love that little bat. He's so cute. How cute is he? How cute is he? I do like bats. We were lucky enough, enough uh, years ago when I was a kid, we actually found a bat. It was a little baby pipistrel bat, a oh, little teeny tiny. It was actually under the big, big bridge. And he was dehydrated. He must have fell from where he was uh, perched. Took him home, nursed him, um, let him have some water. And I can't remember what we fed him on. I think we had dog food or something stupid. This was before internet, so it's probably completely the wrong thing to to give him um, but yeah the following day we opened it was a bird cage we got an old bird cage we opened it up and he's doing vroom vroom because he'd gone from being a weak thing not well we nearly trod on him to be honest but he was all dehydrated like a shriveled up prune and he couldn't fly could hardly pick himself up we were expecting the following day for him to have passed and then the morning he went vroom 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 like that's going around the room we were like well he's obviously well enough so we gave him some more water a bit more to eat and he had what he wanted 
So we're like, right, well, it's fitting well, it's flying around the house. So we just opened the windows, boom, straight out at windows. So yeah, so I have actually been lucky enough to actually hold a little pipistrel bat. They are so super cute. They are so super cute. They're not creepy any, in any way. They're literally just, just nice with the wings. They are so super sweet. I really love them. Um, so yeah, so the art card. This I do believe is the same as what is on the inside, is it? Yes. I do like, do like that. Oh no, it's different, isn't it? Yeah, it's different. That is what... I like, I like the simplicity of it, you know, it's simple but says a lot, that's all you need really isn't it really, for an altar, that's all you need, I love that, I do like that very much, you've got your crystals, your incense, your cards, yeah, I like that, oh that's missing with the little bat, they should put the little bat at the bottom, <laughs> So yeah, I do like that very much. So we are down to the last few items. Oh, I that made a noise. So I'll go for this. This made a noise. I don't want to break that. Let me peel that just a bit. This is what I mean about peeling stickers. I'm terrible. So I peel that sticker off. In fact, I can pop that sticker on that actually. Bear with me whilst I'm doing this. There you go. So what I've done is I've just peeled the sticker off that and I've stuck it on. <laughs> and then I'll save these for, you know, like seeds, drying things. Ooh, <laughs> some <are> weird. <laughs> some cold, hard, weird. holder it's I think it's an incense holder yes it's an incense holder <laughs> wondered what on earth it was <laughs> there's gonna be some scared people out there yeah it's an incense holder I'm sure of it there's a little hole there let me, let me just double check <laughs> could use it as an offering dish actually I think it's an offering dish that might no, it's an offering dish. I went near then, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Use your stunning handcrafted altar dish for your offerings, crystals, herbs and other tiny magical curiosities you need to keep safe when you are working at your altar or out in the great outdoors. Well, there is a little tiny, I don't know if it's meant to be there or not, little teeny tiny tiny, I don't know if you can see it, little tiny hole. But I don't think that you, that's enough for... Uh, stick of incense to stick in no that's probably just mind you i suppose i could drill that couldn't i and make it an incense holder or you could anyway but no i quite like that as an offering because it's like offering holding out i like that in the palm of your hands here i'm offering you something i like that so Cogwheels going around again, cogwheels going around. Yeah. I like that. It's certainly cute. It's, I wondered what on earth it was. But yeah, I do like that. Very unusual. I haven't seen anything like it. The only other thing that I've seen is like the angel wings, you know, that I do like that. And I'm I'm not one for angels. Uh that's not the way I swing. I 20 years ago, yes, but now not uh i'm more goddesses <laughs> um that's how i lean to rather than angelic side um that's just personal choice uh that, that's just me and i don't uh, as much as i like seeing things with like fairies on and things like that i'm not into like um, anything fairy worship or things like that I don't know enough to do that and I'm like I 
seen the effects of what fairy can do so no <laughs> no they're not like tinkerbell no <laughs> so yeah if you don't know it don't know don't don't mess about with things you don't know is what i'm trying to say um, so yeah i love that that will be used for something i don't know yet but i do like that very much um so we've got this bag obviously this bag is to keep everything in and i do like it is there something in it or am i just seeing the what is it a zip bag that's a good zip oh i'm just seeing i thought is there something in it it's that logo that i'm seeing so a nice big bag i mean you can use it as makeup bag pencil case you don't have to use it because it's in a witchcraft related box you don't have to use it for the craft you can use it for whatever you want but I me mean, i've got that much witchcraft stuff it's overrun my makeup stuff as you know so yeah nice big bag i like that useful this is what i'm meaning now when it's a witchcraft related box it needs to have witchcraft related stuff in it not just its claim bag it's got witchcraft on it with a pentacle on it that's what makes it a witchcraft bag you know you understand where i'm going with it yeah <laughs> next i'm down to my last two things i'm saving the best till last because i was blown away with the last one and i had to open it i was naughty this one got my little bag they've got the broom on it as well i love these little baggies i love them to bits so again we've got that lovely logo i do like that so that feels like a herb mix so we've got a card I'm really enjoying the logos on this. They really do go to town with their logos. Uh, white candle. A herb mix, I do believe. So they've gone away from, because they normally have the baggies with the one and the two, which I didn't like, to be honest. I didn't like that. So we've got a travel safely spell. So you will need comfy leaf, fever few, and a white candle. So it's a spell to help you to travel safely. So I'm presuming everything is just, I don't want to open it out if it's just, if they're loose. I'm just going to see if I can open it and see how they are presented. Cause like I say, normally they're in two baggies like labeled one and two rather than comfrey. Ah, they are loose, so that, that was lucky. Ooh. Big, big stick there. A room of some sort anybody i think that looks like a room can't can't think which though which <laughs> anybody's good with the rooms out there what rooms that i just just come to my mind that looked like a room but yeah it's I'm just keeping it all to myself today, aren't I? I'm rubbish. So yeah, it's all mixed up together there. And we've got that, which to me looks a bit roonish. There we go. Nothing else in there that's sticking up. It's all about that. So yeah, I'll stuck that back down. So I love that. Love that. And I've saved best till last. So yeah, I am totally honest with you guys. You know I'm honest. Uh, yeah, I open the boxes, I just have a quick glance, take out the noodle doodles and I normally don't, I do open some things as you know, but then I don't look at them. This thing I opened and I looked, <laughs> I'm naughty, <laughs> but I'm honest, you could not expect me to look at this and go, oh, <laughs> How amazing is this? I'm like, ooh, and it's, if it hadn't made a noise, I wouldn't have opened it, but the fact that it's making a noise, I'm like, and then I'm going, well, I'll have to see if it's broken. <laughs> That's my excuse. So, it's a wooden box. I'm obsessed with wooden boxes. Wooden boxes, chests, anything like that bottles especially with corks on anything like that you know me i like out really i'm easy to please i'm an easy pleaser but this and look it's got all the emblems on it's just missing my little bat but it's got all the other emblems on so i'll let them off 
So, where am I? You pull it, you push it there. There's a little push thing there. I don't know if you can see, can you see? You push it there and then it opens. So I'm like, how did you get into it? I thought it was a bit like one of those puzzle boxes. I thought Hellraiser were gonna come out and get me, you know, Pinhead coming for me. But yeah, you push it from this end and now it shoots the other end. You see? And in it, it's a travel altar. How cute is this? So this does come all the way out. So in it, so if you wanted, you could just have it like that. You don't have to have the lid on it. So you've got, it says travel altar. You've got your little card here. I'll just show you. Do it like that so it doesn't fall out. So you've got your little information card. On it, it says your wooden travel altar contains white tea light, two mini glass bottles, clear quartz crystal chips, sandalwood incense combs. So we've got two good sized bottles. White candle, surplus for everything. Always have white candles. If you can't afford fancy coloured candles, don't get fancy coloured candles. Get white, cheapo ones, yeah? Don't spend a lot on fancy coloured candles. White candles is the candle for all, yeah? Beautiful incense. Sandalwood. We've got quite a lot there. One, two, three, four, five, six sandalwoods and a lot of... Crystal chips. There we go. Look at those. Ooh, put them on the palm of hand, that other hand. How beautiful they are. So quartz crystal. So of course clear quartz. So it's used for power up any spell or ritual or sandalwood for cleansing and purif purification. So I say only thing that's missing in there in, in my mind is some salt. But you could put some salt in one of those and some rosemary you're good to go absolutely amazing i loved that how cool is that that's like the best thing ever i love it i absolutely loved it oops and i just love the presentation of it as well so yeah, so how do you pop I've got to pop it back a certain way. So yeah, so there is a, only one way to pop it in. So the small end goes, how can I explain it? The small end has that little nubbin thing hanging out and the big bit has obviously the end bit. So to open it, you can either just pull it like that. It's a bit difficult to do. I just push that little nubbin and it just does it like that. So like what we used to make at school in wood shop. So yeah, I love it. I love it so much. So thank you very, very, very much, Witch Casket, for another amazing box. Blown away yet again. Can't wait till next month. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe. And yeah. I will see you again next month. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. Please stay safe. Please keep your loved ones safe. And I hope you have a magical week. Thank you very much. Bye.